Tonight, we're particularly honored to welcome His Excellency Ron Dermer, Ambassador of Israel to the United States. So your, 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 your boss and, and friend, the Prime Minister, and you are both ardent admirers of Winston Churchill. And I thought we'd start by exploring really the principal reasons for that admiration, and maybe more specifically, how Churchill and his example have helped shape your own statesmanship. Well, the Prime Minister, I would see, you know, obviously, I feel he's a friend, but he's really a mentor to me for many years, and Nathan Sharansky, who I wrote this book on democracy with. But uh, why I see Churchill as such a unique figure, and I think it's the same reason the Prime Minister does, because he had the two qualities most essential for leadership uh, and most essential for uh, statesmanship. Uh, the virtue of the statesman, uh, Jabotinsky, who was also a great statesman before uh, Israel was established, a real great Zionist in the history of the Zionist movement, said the virtue of the statesman is prescience. So the ability to see dangers ahead. Uh, and obviously Churchill had that uh, in what everyone knows, his standing alone in those critical years in the 30s and recognizing the danger of the Nazis when everyone else was prepared to sort of sweep it under the rug. But he also had the second important uh, quality of statesmanship and real leadership is courage. And we were just speaking before, there's a difference between physical courage on the battlefield, which people have, uh, that doesn't necessarily translate into political courage, which is the ability to take stance, stances that are not popular at the time. And sometimes those two things go together because if you see what others do not see, if you see dangers, that others do not see, then you will actually find yourself standing up to those dangers at a time when your colleagues, not only the opposition, but your colleagues could attack you because they don't recognize the same threats that you recognize. And I think that's the reason why, at least that's the reason I admire him. It's interesting, the prime minister, I don't know if there's a leader around the world who admires Churchill more 